So, you know, some of you might ask, how do we do this in P6? How could I get this same sort of thing graphed in P6? And why don't we just take a minute and show you really quick how we could do that in, in P6. So anytime you want to do graphing in P6, we'll go here to the activities area. And we're going to, you know, use this div divider line in the bottom half of our screen to put the graphs up. So we'll go to the view menu. We'll do a show on bottom. And what we're going to do is, is call the resource usage profile. And basically profile means graph. Okay, and so that puts that graph here in the bottom half of my screen. Okay, now <clears throat> in P6, we can go and find our, actually what we, what we should do before we go searching for everything is we could tell P6 to give me a limited view where we filter by the current project's resources because what we see now is all the resources in our database. We don't need to see everybody, just the resources that are assigned to this project, the one that we have open. So when we do that, we get a much smaller list. So we graph the labor, so there's the general labor, and we sort of shorten that up a little bit. You can see that's roughly the same bars that we had. I'll just flip over so we can compare. So the Y scale will be different in P6, and the Y scale is different primarily because of this black bar. You see the, the black line that goes up and down? So let's see if we turn that off, and that's what we call it here as the limit line. So we turn that black limit line off. It usually readjusts the scale. Okay, so it did. Okay, so the S-curve line that we want to see now is controlled by these checkboxes on the cumulative side here. So what I graphed in Excel was just budgeted. So it just had budgeted bars and just the budgeted cumul cumulative line as well. So if we click Apply, more or less get the same graph. I know it's yellow. Not a fan of seeing things in yellow myself. Here, let's pick. Give me a blue. Okay, a little bit better. One of the challenges that we have, you can see right here. Here's one of the challenges that we have with P6. Um, I can't control the colors of the lines. Like this S-curve line, I can't change the color. They both have to be blue. So we have a challenge there. So you almost have to find a, a nice color where it's not too dark and not too light. But you can see wherever there's overlap, you're in trouble. So if you turn one off, you can see better. Or if you, but that's one of the challenges. It's, this is not a graph that's going to look as good as the one we just produced in Excel. So I'm curious, um, how often are people generating S-curves? You can just let me know in the chat pane. Are we doing lots of S-curves in our day-to-day? -day? Are we looking at these graphs? Faye says monthly, great. So you generate one monthly. Chandler says not really. Sometimes, depends on the project. Um, but yes, generating them every week. OK, so some people are still getting started with P6 and maybe you're not there yet. OK. Um, you know, really quick, as we're still talking about this topic, one of the other things is, you know, you could skip all of those Excel steps that we just did, and you could quickly come and see this graph if you want. That will give you a quick um, visual of where it's at, a quick visual of what that graph's going to look like. If you want to output this graph, you want to print this, or you get it into PDF or something like that, how do we do that? So we're going to go to File and do a Print Preview. And we don't see any of the graph at all. But through a little tweaking of what we're going to print, we can get the graph, just the graph on the screen here. So we go to the top left-hand Page Setup area. Okay. And we can pick what we're going to print by going to the Options tab here. So 
So options is sort of the master, really should be the first tab of this whole screen. On the options uh, area, we just want to keep the profile. So we're going to turn all these things off. You don't need any of the table, the columns, the Gantt, none of that. Okay. Let's go ahead and click OK. Just the profile. And there's your graph. Okay, so then you could do print. And um, if you want to get it to PDF, you know, P6 has a challenge with getting stuff to PDF. It doesn't do it pretty much. So you'd have to like install a PDF printer, something like that, and you could get it to PDF. You could take a picture with your camera, maybe would be even more, <laughs> might even be more helpful to get it into a digital format that you could share instead of just a hard copy. So, so that's how you can uh, print those graphs. You can print them right out of Excel, uh, sorry, print them right out of P6 and get them. Okay, if, um, if there's any other questions, this is a great time. Let me know what other questions you might have about graphing, uh, what I've shown you here, some of the stuff we did in Excel, or even what we just saw in P6. Hey, Michael, this is Robert. I have a question for you. Hey, Robert, sure. Uh, I, I, I'm i guessing that, um, I mean, this is a kind of a no-brainer question, but uh, I'm assuming that you can use this graphing for forecast curves or for whatever else, whatever, whatever other uh, unit amount you want to actually graph, correct? It's just a matter of what you choose in your initial uh, options? Absolutely. Um, so, I mean, because I did budgeted, this is, in a way, a forecast curve, right? These are your planned... Let me rephrase that. So this is more like your baseline curve, actually, because I've graph budgeted. But if you wanted the forecast curve, um, you would come back to your resource profile options, and you would, instead of graphing the budgeted, you would graph the remaining, okay? And your remaining early will give you the earliest, um, the earliest curve, basically. Okay, so, so now this, but just by changing those two checkboxes, now we're looking at more or less the forecast curve, right? Because this project has a little bit of progress, and the forecast will shift based on what has been done and what wasn't done that was supposed to be done. So this is your forecast curve.